Hi, welcome to Understudy. Today I want to talk about this scene from 2017 indie gem, Lady Bird. Take a look. Thank you for driving. You're welcome. You're not coming. You can't walk up to the gates anymore anyway. Yeah, but I'm going to college. Well, Dad will walk you to security. Parking's too expensive here. It's okay. She'll be back. She'll come back. Recently I watched Lady Bird for the first time and I was blown away by Laurie Metcalf's performance. She plays Marianne McPherson, who is the mother of Lady Bird, played by Saoirse Ronan, a high school senior coming into her own. The relationship between the two, like many mother-daughter relationships, is a mix of love and conflict. You know how it is. She hates me. She has a big heart, your mom. A little backstory about the scene. Earlier in the film, Lady Bird goes behind her mom's back to apply to schools outside of California, something which her mom strongly opposes. Marion eventually finds out and becomes so upset that she refuses to speak to her daughter. When the day comes for Marion to drop Lady Bird off at the airport so she can fly to New York, Marion declines to come inside and say goodbye at the gate, and instead drives off. However, as soon as she leaves the airport, she has a change of heart and comes right back only to discover she's too late to say goodbye. Lady Bird is already gone. This scene, for many reasons, was difficult to shoot. Here's Lori talking about it. The journey of the mother draw, leaving the airport and then deciding to come back and see, hoping to make it back in time to say goodbye to her daughter, um, that's a little journey that you have to play. As you, and, but then you have to really be driving the car and the <laughs> camera's mounted on the hood and you can't see around it and there's, Police cars on either side, you know, making sure that you don't get cut off in traffic, all that technical stuff. is. So it's, 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 it's like doing this, you know, that scene was. But what I think specifically makes this scene so amazing is that we get a focus on Metcalf as she starts with one point of view and in 68 seconds completely changes to the opposite point of view. This scene is up close, natural, and a masterful example of how to elicit strong, powerful emotions when you're on your own. A teacher once told me the most important person in the scene is your scene partner. They are who you need to affect and be affected by. But in this scene, Metcalf is by herself. She has to generate these emotions using her own imagination. There's no one to feed her impulses or actions except her own thoughts. And as actors, we're often thrown into environments where we have to manufacture emotion on our own without a scene partner's help. Whether it's an audition or a monologue or your scene partner just isn't there. Where were you, Derek? So what can you do? What can you do to generate emotion on your own? There are a couple ways, and I'm merely highlighting a common one. Ultimately, what makes acting so fascinating and difficult is that everyone has their own way of achieving the same result. True emotional responses don't come from focusing on the emotion. If you do, your emotion's gonna come out forced and fake. True emotional responses come from focusing on what's around the emotion. And by setting up the blueprint, the emotion will follow. Emotion can't be planned. It's surprising. It's instinctive. Emotions expose us. We may try to control our emotions because we're often told that showing emotion is ugly, weird, or crazy. 
We spend our whole lives burying our emotional selves, covering it up, suppressing it, because we're told to or out of shame. Then when emotion does come out, as it inevitably does, it comes out strong. It surprises us. Our emotional selves are a gift. A powerful performance reminds us that we can feel emotion and that we should. Replicating emotion effectively is important in any scene, but especially difficult when you're by yourself, since emotions are reactional. And Lori Metcalf in this scene excellently sets up a world for herself that allows her to generate these emotions on her own. Through that, she shows us some of the most vulnerable and beautiful parts of humanity. And that's why I love this scene so much.